Hello, me alone. I got a new friend. It's up there. Can you see? <coughs> the shadow? The meat looks like an animal. It's like some kind of an animal going from, you know, like tick, 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 walking away. Oh, now it's gone. Gone altogether. <laughs> so today, what have I been doing? I just had mustard. I'm serious. I just had some mustard. Uh, fasting the six days. So I went and I got myself some mustard from the fridge and yeah, then I came up here and I started my alkaline bath again. <laughs> and this time our real friends that we're gonna get back to in the end of this um, ordeal are these. There is magnesium chloride on the left that you can't see at the moment. And there is <laughs> cedar nut, cedar kernel oil that I'm gonna use on my skin. And then there is lemon juice. So these and, you know, the soap and the uh, razor you've already encountered. So I'm gonna tell you about my day and about water. So I figured in my kitchen the supplements when they are today it was a cold day so they couldn't be in the celery anymore. It was mm, hotter in the celery than outside. So I went okay I need to put the supplements up again and when I had put them down I went like hmm. and now if I'd make a tea the supplements would be in the electromagnetic field of the induction stove and oven I don't want that so how can I make space in my kitchen well, if I put the supplements beside the refrigerator, that one has an electromagnetic field a bit uh, uh, weaker than a running stove. But still, it's electricity. It's got an ele electromagnetic field and it will kill the supplements. So, okay. On the other side of the induction oven won't work either. So there is only the space left of the washing machine, the dishwasher. So the dishwasher, I unplugged it from the systems here. You know, the, the, the water. Uh, Uh, pipes. So I went into the celery and then I found two screws and I closed them like the the main one I hadn't found but then when I had found I had a moment of uh, horror before that because I was up in the kitchen and I was like you always go the other way than you're used to. Like to close something would be the other way than where as you would close a lid, not normally. So I went like, ah, I need to close this. There is water coming a lot. I had opened it and then I needed to close it. And then I was like in shock, <gasps> you know, water, why? And then I forgot which direction. So I had like to turn my head and look onto the whole uh, apparatus there from the angle that will give me the answer. So by the time that I was ready to actually close the water um, pipes, 
and stop them from running, there was already a lot of water being uh, kind of spilled here and there. So I was kind of uh, having a moment of... <gasps> so after that I went down there and I actually, the one screw that I wasn't... I didn't want to do too much on that one because the first time that I was in the salary and I touched that one, I figured it's not closed and not open. It's not totally open and not totally closed. It's somewhere in between. So I went like, oh, this must be a measurement tool. It's a blue something and you turn it and it says bigger and less on it with a arrow indicator. But actually, that one was the main screw I had to um, close to get rid of the water in the kitchen, like to be able to work up there. So then I worked up there and I took the, the dishwasher. I thought to myself, well, the house owner, when I tell her, she told me, but leave that one down there. And I went like, yes, I will do so. But now, because of the space that I needed, I put that one away. So when I go explain to her what I did, I will have to tell her, well, that one I didn't put into the salary, like the washing machine, because down there, like during summertime, it's cold, but during winter, it gets hot. So anything wet down there will also kind of rot away. So I put it up here in that space up there. So to put it up there, I really had to put a Ethernet cable around the machine. And then I had like figured, okay, on that ladder to get up there, if I have that one on me, I might break the ladder because it's just a screw and some iron strings, but I didn't trust that system. So I was like walking up there and every step was like different. The first few steps I had the, the dishwasher on my shoulder and I was just carrying it myself. And then the next steps I was putting it onto the steps shortly, but I went with my hands grabbing this floor up here so that I could kind of take away some weight from the ladder and then I made some more steps and then I went on my elbows onto this floor and then I was kind of having the machine up there like almost up there and then I was like you know the rest was uh, cake. Mmm, how oh, I would love to have a cake. Oh, it's the sixth day, you know, me fasting. So the first two days were horrible, the third maybe two, because I was in coffee detox as well and I had a headache. So now, yesterday, I investigated on the keto diet and I'm not going to do it because people... It's like the first 50 questions on YouTube, they all get answered positively. And then you get into the questions that go like, is it more like a vibe? Is it a kind of new thing? Is it safe? And then you learn it's not safe, especially for your heart. Like to not intake any sugars is not good. Maybe for the brain, for me, it's not that bad because I always take manosis and galactosis and that one needs no insulin and gets into my brain directly. So I'm always functioning <laughs> brain-wise. I should be. So hear my stomach? Now it's digesting the spoon of mustard that I had. <laughs> oh, I live off mustard. So then 
when I had done all that, I was always also filming it. So I will later on cut a little video. So if you're interested, you can go and watch that one. And it's also on this playlist because it will be a playlist me dealing with water. <laughs> Next will be, as I told you, I will be on a little lake maybe first and then I will go to two different rivers and I will be there on a rubber boat I love it already going there all by myself and I will hitchhike there so I won't be like you know um, going there by bike and stuff oh the battery is saying goodbye so yeah later on I was also selling some stuff and maybe I go and get the batteries and if not, I'll tell you tomorrow. I sold some Shungite and MP3 player and yeah. Uh, see you.